Hello. Hello and welcome. Welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox. On the Series X for this new player guide to survival. Previously, I took you through the menus, things to set up, and so on and so forth. And if you remember, we actually left with my pod on Earth-like in this region. So if we hit continue game, we're going to take a look at where we are and what we can do to get going in Space Engineers right from the start. So here we go. We are in our pod on the Earth-like planet and the battery on this pod has no way of recharging so it's now running down and will last about two days before it gives up the ghost entirely and we're without power. So first thing we want to do is open up our inventory, move the D-pad across, or the left stick actually is quicker. Best to use the left stick to go between menus and the D-pad to move between items in that inventory. We want this. We press A to take it and then just quickly jump out with X. Here we are. Uh, hold down the right bumper. Tap left on the D-pad. We will open the helmet so we're not using any or we're not um, bothering because we're in an oxygenated environment. We don't need the helmet on or rather the visor. Anyway, we want to open up inventory again and we want to press Y on this for later. And it will open up the datapad editor and just press Y again, then press X and then press the left trigger once and you'll see that we have the MTDC station and at the moment we can't see it on the um, GPS because it's not visible. And that's okay, we leave it as is. Then we turn back round, open up our inventory of our chair again with the two squares on the Xbox controller and press A to put that back because we only want our tools. We don't want the gun or the ammunition. We don't have any enemies to deal with. So we are good. So looking around, we've got quite a hefty mountain range over here with some traces of snow, which is good. We've got snow over there, which is good. And snow all the way over here, which is good. That means that we do have access to a fairly decent supply of ice. Because we're going to need that to put into our O2 generator. Because each time we want to refill our, light, our um, hydrogen engine, we're going to need, on the jetpack, we're going to need... That. To activate the jetpack, we press Y. We'll come to that though. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to start looking at a temporary base. Something that will give us a place to operate from where we will have adequate power. And this is the purpose of this particular video so we're just going to go into the survival kit here go to production and when you go to production you need to use the d-pad to go from components to ingots and on this here we don't have enough stone so what we need to do first of all is queue up about a thousand of these by pressing pressing both bumpers at the same time get my teeth in properly and pressing a and then it's going to take us a while to get that number of ingots but we need stone and this is where our soup power and our hand drill comes in now our hand drill comes with a handy dandy ore detector it's a weak one though it's not going to show you much if anything right from the start and we want to probably come to the top of this particular rise here 
And first things first, we want to make a little hole. But we don't want to pick up the stone. We don't want any stone generated at all in that regard. So we're going to use the left trigger. And we're going to basically use the terramorph function of the drill just to create a bit of a hollow down here. And this is so that any stone we mine doesn't run out. We'll just give ourselves a, a way up so we're not having to overly exert the jetpack. That should be enough for us to go in and out of this little mine area. So we're going to need to start collecting stone. So with the right trigger you'll start drilling and you'll start seeing stone, good quality stone as well from this wall. And you just want to drill a bit to see a pile and then just holding down X on this pile will give us enough stone to fill our inventory. Right, so now we're going to run back to our pod here. There's the survival kit. We're going to open the inventory. We're going to take all that lovely stone and drop it in. And we just keep on waiting now, dropping stone in until we're completely empty and we come back to our little mine area here. If it's too dark you can turn your headlamp on, hold down the right bumper, tap right on the d-pad, put your torch on, turn it off the same way and also a little trick you can do is when you're mining with the drill or any tool like a hand welder, a grinder or the drill, if you double tap left it'll turn the tool on until you tap left, double tap right, trigger, turn it on until you tap right trigger again. If you want to mine and you can't quite mine crouch and then your drill will dig in. If you want to automatically pick up your stone or ore as you're mining then hold down the right trigger and keep X pressed and it will grab any stone that you mine like so until your inventory is full. Tap B again run over. If you want to put your tool away, any block or tool, left bumper B and you'll put anything in your hand away. Open up the inventory again, throw some more stone in. And this is the early game of Space Engineers. This is what you'll be doing um, constantly. You'll be producing lots and lots of stone to get your first headquarters up and running. I think I'm going to build it over here looking at it and so what we want now is just to make a small platform to which we'll be able to put a basic refiner, a basic assembler and some source of power on. Don't worry too much about your survival kit to begin with and remember that we're not playing with progression on. So I'm going to do a whole video on the progression system because I think it needs separating out because it can be a little complex when you get going. This is why I always suggest turning it off until you've had a bit of a play because it can discourage you. You can get bottlenecked, you can make a mistake and then find that you can't remember what you ground down and you need to build back up again and so on. But we'll cover that in another video. I want to make these um, little short bite-sized pieces 
So at first we're going to get going with a basic platform and some way of powering that platform. And I'll show you how to do all that in a moment. First of all, we're going to, again, open up our survival kit. You can press X on that particular conveyor. And then right trigger until we get to production. Now what we want here are some steel plates. Uh, I'm going to queue up 20 of them. And you'll see that our pod will be busy ticking away in the background making these plates and it's much slower than a basic assembler but a basic assembler requires more components and more power we'll take those 20 from the inventory so going back to the inventory just click the stick and then take those plates now we have plates we'll also quick save as well so both bumpers x press a and we're good so we're going to make our little headquarter place over here so press in the left stick we'll open build mode and then go to light armor blocks push up on the left stick tap the right bumper and we have a block you'll notice though our block is a bit weird not a problem hold down left bumper tap rt once tap it again and we've got the beginnings of where we want to place our block so let's clear this from the trees and we want to place our blocks like so just build a platform it doesn't have to be fantastic and you're not going to be welding these up as you can see it takes a fair few steel plates to weld these up and we don't want to do that just yet um, eventually you may want to because it's having to render everything through the gaps so if you've got that whole thing and there we go tap the jetpack a second it's getting there we might want to queue up a few more steel plates um, maybe another 20 and if you want to do them in batches hold down the left bumper will give you 10 at a time the right bumper will give you 100 both bumpers will queue up a thousand you'll notice of course we've run out of stone so it's back to the space engineers early game grind of collecting our stone fortunately just mine out a bit more stone keep an eye on your um, systems as well you'll see on the lower left that we have our health our oxygen our suit power and our hydrogen for our jetpack keep an eye on those if you want to recharge your suit come to your survival kit here and hold down the X button it will consume some power and some ice and you'll get back to full put our stone back in and once you've got enough iron we'll grab those while we're at it there we go it's creating steel plates again 
back open up our light blocks and I think let's have a look probably a bit more on the front <coughs> Missing some. Get trolling over to here. And then we'll just extend it a bit here. And just to make our lives a little bit easier, we will change our block type by pushing up on the d-pad and then rotating it on the vertical green axis like so look and if you want to swap axis press down on the d-pad and it will change the rotation of the axis and so on. If you want to change the block again, push up on the D-pad until we get back to the light armor block. And we're gonna pull away on this side when we get enough. So again, we need to go and get more steel plates. This is the early game of Space Engineers. This is what you'll be doing a lot of So let's queue up. Let's queue up thirty of these. Let's go and get the stone. And I think it's important to show you this particular step without um, glossing over it, without skipping ahead. So you can see this is the way to do it. I don't want this video to run on too long so we'll just get the basic um, start going and then on the next one we'll look at a way to start building out our power system and so on fully get some more stone while I'm waiting see we'll build up fairly quickly and it won't tell you that your inventory is full while you're holding down the X button and the right trigger it's only until you try and pick up some of the stone that's fallen there you go like that Uh, we can also hot drop as well um, without having to press A. So when we open this, if you just press the two squares, you can hot drop the stone in without having to select it. And we'll grab these 14 plates while we're at it. And then we'll just drag a line of blocks this way. And then we'll activate the jetpack. And we'll start going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, right, need more. Come down carefully, turn off the pack. Need deep, deep, and uh, grab those. About three or four more blocks will do it. 
the higher you go, the better. Obviously, the higher you are, though, the more jetpack you'll be using. That should do it. There we go. And we'll just, once again, make it so that we can fairly easily get onto our platform without messing about. And that's the infrastructure starting to come together. We've got one metal plate left, so uh, we'll just wait now, get some stone in, open up the inventory on the survival kit. How I did that was tapping in the right stick to access all the inventories. And as you cycle through by tapping in the right stick, you'll see the different inventories open up. And now I want to do a bit more stone mining. Another quick save. This time, we're going to be making a way to power our platform. And hot drop the stone in. And we'll start looking now at what we need to build atop this tower. The Tower of Power. And I first saw the Tower of Power through the YouTuber Kanajashi. And um, it affected the way I build all my power systems from that point on. It's a, a really useful way of doing it for uh, wind turbines in space engineers. And uh, so, right. We're going to come across until we get to the solar panels. We're going to hold the left stick into that quadrant. And what we're going to do then is we're going to tap A until we reach wind turbine. But we're not going to press A on it. We're actually going to press X. This will add the wind turbine to Space Engineer's build planner. And this is going to save you a lot of time. Now, I've actually got videos early on and uh, an updated video on the build planner but to use it is quite simple once you've got that we go back to our survival kit and if we hold right bumper and we tap the inventory button you'll see there are no motors or anything to pull from because there's nothing in production so just before we run out of hydrogen we'll just recharge and now if we hold down the left bumper and press the inventory we will put all components into production so you'll see that it's now building the components needed quite slowly to make our first power source which is a wind turbine. And the height I've placed it should give the wind turbine an optimal amount of, um, oh, there we go again. Gotta go and get some more stone. Let's turn the light on. It should give it an optimal amount of clearance because it's uh, let's just do a proper mine without picking it up so I can just grab all this stone the deeper you are by the way the more stone you'll pick up per 
um, cycle of the drill. So this is good quality stone because it's right at the side of this mountain. Whereas if we were on the grassy area, we might have to dig down a bit to get two or three hundred stone per. So we go again. Do another run. Just keeping an eye on the length of this. I don't want to go too far, but I do want to take it to a point where at least we can get one source of power going. Um, if you want to skip ahead, though, you can go back to my new player guides. Um, the new player guides will teach you everything you need to know. Um, they're not as up-to-date as this one will be, but they are still relevant. I do believe they're still using the um, most recent way of grouping objects and things. There just won't be any automaton stuff built in because at that point it didn't exist. Let's have a quick look at our... Still got plenty of ingots in production. So we'll just carry on doing this for a few more cycles to kill time as we go between the parts of the process. And you don't have to worry about um, being accurate or where you're drilling. Just as long as you've got lots of stone. That's the main important thing. Tapping a bit too fast there. And we're getting there. Slowly but surely. And this is the early game of Space Engineers. Before you start automating your processes or building um, <clears throat> shortcuts to getting what you want. I'm just going to Grab a bit more stone while I'm waiting for that to do. And we're using default settings as well, if you remember. Uh, I haven't changed any of the assembler speeds or anything like that. You can do if you want. If you find it a bit too slow, you can change all of those things. Even now, when you load the game, you can alter the settings. Uh, I did show that off in the last video or rather the previous video and there we are so now everything we want is in there so now if we hold down right bumper and we tap both uh, we tap the square inventory button the do square button Whatever you want to call it on the Xbox controller, you will see that we can pull all the components needed to produce this thing. So once again, open up the build menu. We choose wind turbine and you'll see the blueprint. You'll see the ghost. We want to place that ghost at the top like so. Tap the right trigger to start it off. And then what we can do is we can come here like this a bit more and we can stand there and we can start building our wind turbine hold down right trigger and you'll start building
and I remember now we've actually got the progression system on um, so by building the wind turbine we've unlocked new blocks so there you go I thought we turned it off but uh, that might have been the other um, video I was planning I do that many things but there you go that is your first step to getting power we're going to need another four of those but that is for another time as we expand out this platform we'll be adding a basic refiner and a basic assembler and eventually we'll be ripping down our old survival kit and building a survival kit and a um, H2O2 generator over there so that then we can tear this entire pod apart and look at establishing a foothold in the mountains for further exploration so we can get um, cobalt and a few other ores that we need to make things. Until then though, stay safe, take care, have fun, enjoy the game, loads more to come from me and a lot more to come from Keen, the way the wind's blowing. I can't say anything, I know a little, but a little is a lot. Bye. Fun app.